What's up everyone, this is John. Today I'm going to install an acrylic tent in an 85 full camper. One thing you'll notice is that I'm wearing gloves and a dust mask. This is due to the black mold growing on the roof of this van's pop top, which I'm going to address later. Our instructions do say to unscrew the lower track so you can match the old tent to the new tent to ensure proper size. However, since this is an in-house install, I simply cut it out along the lower edge. Once the lower edge is released from the van, Remove the bolt caps from each side at the top of the H-bar. Loosen the two 10mm nuts, but do not remove them fully. Move to the rear hinges and remove the two rearmost bolts from the lower portion of the hinge. I like to keep these bolts in the rain gutter. Loosen, but do not completely remove the front bolt. Move back inside and collapse the top. Now completely remove the two 10mm nuts from the H-bar. The H-bar is spring-loaded, so use some zip ties to hold them in collapsed position. Use a prop or a friend to hold the top up slightly at the front. Move back to the rear of the van and remove the last bolt from the hinges. Remove the prop and set up some sawhorses to set the pop top on. Get some friends to help you lift the top off of the van. Four people total, one at each corner, flip the top onto the sawhorses. Unfasten all the screws holding the tent to the top. Remove the aluminum tracks and the tent from the pop top. Original tents have small wooden blocks attached to them with staples. If you are installing an OEM style tent, you need to save both the blocks and the staples as you will reuse them. However, acrylic, cotton, and hemp tents do not use these. With everything removed from the top, now is the time to address any mold growing on the headliner. This is a very common occurrence and pretty easily remedied. You'll need a hose, some soap, a little bleach, and a scrub brush. Start by spraying the top with water. Add a little soap and about three capfuls of bleach. Always be sure when using bleach to do it in a well-ventilated area and to never ever mix bleach and ammonia together. Gently scrub the top adding water when necessary until the mold, dirt, or grime is gone. With a towel or a buffer on the ground, remove the front sawhorse and liberally rinse out the top. With a little help from a friend, set the top on its side to dry. Be sure to put down towels or cardboard to protect the top from scratches or nicks. Move back to the van while that dries and take some time to clean up places that may have been neglected. You can see here that the mold has also gotten to the upper bunk. If you cut the old tent out, you'll need to unscrew the tracks from the van. You'll want to clean these also. Once the top is nice and dry, we'll install the new tent. Get the top back onto the sawhorses and lay out the new tent, screens out, oriented the proper way. The beading goes inside this channel in the top. Tracks straddle the bead. Begin at the front of the tent by joining both seam corners in one hand and finding the center of the tent's front panel with the other hand. Attach it over the tent to the top in the center. Now, working from the center out and keeping the bead in proper position, screw the front track down to the top. You want to be sure to keep the canvas as smooth and straight as possible, with no bunching or pleating. Repeat the same process in the rear, mark the center, and grab the track. I like to bow the track and tuck in the corners, as the track ends protrude under the hinges slightly. It can be tricky to get the bead under the bar when it is fastened, so tucking the corners first is helpful. Continue in the same manner as the front, fully attaching the track down in the rear. When back done, fold the tent in the orientation shown, and fasten the side tracks down. Work from the front to the rear, keep the corners as uniform as possible, and the bead tight against the track. Unfold the tent and roll the front section up. Tape the rolled bundle and repeat this process at each side. This will help keep the canvas in place and out of the way when we put the top back on. Grab your friends and set the top back on the van. With the top back on, push the canvas into the corner and cut the ties holding the bar together. Hold onto the bar tightly as it is under quite a bit of pressure. Guide the bracket over the two studs in the roof and loosely thread the nut and lock washers back on. Repeat this process on the other side and prop the roof back up. Move to the rear, lift the corner up, and loosely bolt the hinge down at the front provision. Do this to both sides and lift the top all the way up. Align the hinge with the mounting provisions. Make sure it is bolted down in the same position as it was when it was removed. 
fore and aft movement will change the latch location and the way that the top seals. Torque all six bolts down at the rear hinges, move inside the van, torque the fasteners joining the H-bar to the pop top, and replace the plastic bolt caps. A prop rod can be helpful to hold the top at half mast while attaching the front to give the canvas some slack. The front track bar has a jog in the end of the legs. This follows the body panel of the roof. Begin with the front track and center it between the seams and the tent. Some tents have a split in the lower bead which will also mark center. Fasten the front center screw in the canvas with the bead inboard the track as shown. Work from the center out, keeping the bead uniform against the inboard edge of the track. A small flathead screwdriver is helpful to pull the bead into position. The corners are the trickiest part, getting them flat can be difficult. I tend to get one screw halfway in, work the fabric around the turn, place the next screw halfway in, and then fasten down the starting screw all the way. Some tents are almost impossible to keep the corners flat, so some minimal bunching is expected. Once the front portion is done, move to the rear and repeat the same process. There isn't any center marker in the rear, so you'll need to center the track by the seams at each corner and the turns in the middle. Once the rear is done, fasten the sides down starting in the front and working your way rearward. Once the sides are attached, you're done. Que roubei do Buda Virei um adulto que deixa vadia